Hello everybody and welcome back to Sims Big Brother 2017. Yes, I said it right. This is Holly Linden, your host. <laughs> I hope you're all doing fabulously. It has been literal months since I last recorded this. So we're going to see how it goes. It's currently December 2016 in the quote unquote real world or as real as it could possibly be anyway. Why don't you go to the bathroom, David? Uh, David, um, if I can access it, go. Clean it too. You might. Why is he running everywhere? <laughs> Why don't you have a woohoo when you're done? Wait. Oh, uh, I didn't want to see that. That he's not friends with Aaron because that probably means Aaron's going up tonight. Um. Okay. Let's talk about 2017, 2016 for a second. When I started recording this series, it was back in August, and I recorded the first 20 episodes in August, and then. Just the shit hit the fan in my life, so I couldn't really record episodes of anything so much anymore. So, um, I was saying 2016 because I fully expected I was going to start releasing the episodes around September or whatever, and uh, I didn't do that. I started at the end of November, so <clears throat> actually releasing them because my plan was to release them as I'm doing every single day to coincide with what day of the week it actually is. So this episode, episode 21, will be re and day 21, will be releasing on a Saturday in the quote-unquote real world. So um, I realized when I was actually starting to upload them but that this series is not going to be finished by the end of 2016. So the reason it's called Sims Big Brother 2017 and the reason I was saying 2016 in the first 20 videos is just because... <laughs> Uh, I expected that I'd be releasing it a lot earlier than I actually did. She looks like she's slamming him from behind. <laughs> That's not quite... Well, it could work that way, actually. You have the right accoutrement. But, uh, yeah. So that explains the 2016-2017 thing. Let's see if other people are hanging around here. He wants to kiss Olivia and play a game on an arcade machine. So let's see here. He wants to kiss her. Where are you going, bud? Why are you going to go clean this? Forget that. You're the HOH. Um, uh, he wants to kiss her. So heat of the moment kiss. Let's do that. What am I doing today? Well, it's considered day three, which is considered a free day, even though we're on a point two week. Do you know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. Um, all four losers of the HOH competition, which is, I have to flip through my notes and be reminded. I know that Str uh, <laughs> Strauss, I know that Chase is because he is um, our house slave for the week. And it didn't, it wasn't based on the last HOH that David won. It was based on the week 4.108 HOH that Banjo won when we had that quick HOH, uh, HOH nomination veto in one day. Um, let's zoom in on the love birds while they talk and flirt. Um, so Chase is our house slave and then Oscar, Zelda, Candace. So they're not coming upstairs until tonight at eight o'clock. Whoa. <gasps> what are you doing? Olivia's berating his ignorance. What is that about? You guys. Oh my God. No, no. You were getting on so well. Well, of course, as soon as I start... As soon as I start uh, making them do stuff together, then they start hating each other. Okay, so today is a free day, but what we're actually... Hmm, yeah, today is a free day, but tonight at 8, the four losers from the basement are going to come back up. Let's follow David, and then we'll get to see other other house guests. It's been a while since I've recorded this, so please bear with me. It may not be as as smooth and as amazingly professional as it normally is um so no you're not traveling to france darling maybe if you win the game and and that's something you want and we make a little let's play out of you um so all four losers will come up at 8 p.m uh there any reward competitions from day one will f be fulfilled today and we don't have any we didn't do oh uh, let me double check <laughs> i would hate to be like we didn't do any rewards and uh, we did not. We did not do any reward competitions, which just reminds me that in, in week five, we probably should. Can you believe we're already in week 4.2? It's crazy. Um, I can control Sims for cleaning and repairing until the have-nots are released. Um, and only the first quitter or loser is the house slave, and that was Chase. 
And then nominations, David's nominations are tonight at 9 p.m. So I'm pretty excited for that. So oh, getting away from my notes here so I can actually go and look at everybody. Let's have a look at what's happening in the basement. There's a huge pile of garbage and Chase and Candace are getting on and Candace is yellow because she's been eating the jelly bean bush. Can we clean this up? That is a huge... I have never seen such a huge pile of garbage before. <laughs> um, and Chase wants to play a two-player game and group up with Candace. Well, I will set that in there. Because he's our house slave, so I am controlling him um, to a certain extent. Candace is going for another jelly bean. I'm starting to think that a sim won't die from a jelly bean unless you tell them to eat a jelly bean. If it's autonomous, I think that maybe they're safe. Um, how about you use the bathroom? What is Zelda doing? You guys got to stay down here for another like 10 hours or something. Oh, what's your problem? Hey, Oscar and Candace, what is going on in my house today? What is going on? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sad about this. Zelda is not happy. Oh, poor girl. Let's go back to David. These it's too sad hanging out with these guys. <laughs> it's just it's just far too sad. So I'm just gonna be sending everybody around. How about we send Gretchen around to do you know what? It's always a woman doing it. Let's send Jasper around. Fuck you, Jasper. <laughs> well first well, he's really hungry. Hmm. What about Aaron? Aaron's doing okay. So Aaron, he's just going to jump on the trampoline. Tri tri I can't even say it the wrong way. So I'm just going to cycle through and see if there's anything he needs to clean up for us. Make him our cleaner for right now. Make the bed. Why are you upset? It's hard to endure the rough patches with those you care about from socialization. I have no idea who was not getting along with Aaron, but sorry to hear that, Aaron. That really sucks. So let's make this bed. We'll make this bed. There are quite a few beds to make. That's for sure. Pretty soon, though, we won't have that many people in the house, so there won't be that, that many beds to clean or anything. Does this need to be cleaned? No? Does this need to be? Well, no, you can't really take the garbage out, really. David, what are you doing? How about you go to the bathroom, David? Just use the all-in-one bathroom just for something to do. And in the meantime, what I'd like to do, well, he wants to kiss Olivia. He wants to play a game on an arcade machine, and he wants to use the megaphone. So, huh, I got two people playing a game over here. But he has one upstairs, so why don't we come play Robots vs. Monsters with Olivia, your love, your lovely love. That'd be great. So how's everybody doing today? I <laughs> I hope splendidly. <laughs> I really am looking forward to seeing who wins. Um, and let me just say so far, because 11 episodes have aired. I believe the 12th is airing today. Um, I have, you know, you set it up on a schedule because YouTube does that now, and it's really fucking awesome. I have... I only have good things to say, not about YouTube, because YouTube's kind of shitty, but I only have good things to say about the new scheduling that I've just found in the last couple of months. Um, it makes it a lot easier, because in one day I can upload five, six episodes and not have to think about uploading more episodes for quite a while, so I do really, really love that. Are you coming upstairs, Olivia? What's going on? Oh. Olivia, what are you doing? What are you doing? She's in the hot tub. For some reason, I'm going to put this in the fridge if the game will let me. The game won't let me. Why won't you let me? Banjo, you're not doing anything. You're just... No, do, I don't want you... Oh, because it's garbage. Okay, I see. <laughs> I didn't think it was garbage. I thought that it was still a good quality. So let's try to put this in the fridge then. There we... What? Mm. I don't know why the game does that sometimes. It is super weird. Okay, well, he's just playing a video game by himself. That's fine. <laughs> if that's what you want to do. And then when you're done, how about when you're done with that? I'd like you to come downstairs and we have to actually... Whoopsie. Whoopsie doodle. Good. I would like us to actually kiss Olivia. Oh, my God. What is going on? How about you come here? God. 
My characters are acting weird today. <laughs> Isn't Aaron's deep, deep voice? <laughs> I'm on a trombone. <laughs> it's so gross. Um, Olivia. <laughs> okay, David. I need you to. Oh. She's coming over to talk about Smugsworth Prep School. She's not a snob. Where the hell is she going? Olivia? <laughs> oh my god, new. I really should for Big Brother 2017. I really should suppress the opportunities because it's just... <gasps> what is happening? They're having a bad social. Oh my god, bad social interaction. As soon as I start playing, okay, apologize to her, and then I want you to tell a funny story. I guess things are better between them. And then I would like you uh, to kiss her because you love her. Maybe. I don't, I can't remember if anyone has said that yet. Hasn't, didn't Olivia say that to David? I love you, or she said something like that. Like, I, I can't. I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. It was one of these episodes. I'm pretty sure she has said something when I told her to share a secret. So why don't you share a secret, David? And see how that goes. Oh, they're getting along. They're getting along. That's good, good, good. God, my cat Josie is jumping on my lap and she's digging her nails into my friggin' leg. God. Drives me crazy. No, no, no. Don't. I don't want to follow Olivia. I want to follow David. Uh, she just really, she really has to go to the bathroom, so forget this. Uh, David, why don't you go around and, stop, I'm going to pause this. Why don't you go around and talk to people, actually try to make some connections here, because you don't have the best of relationships with a robot. With a robot. So why don't you go around, I'd like you to do one friendly, one funny, and, oh my god, and apologize. So I'd like you to do three socials, Olivia. Don't be an asshole. Come on. And then because we, I, we all saw that you don't get along with Aaron, I'd like you to come and do a friendly with Aaron and tell a funny story. And, I, I, like, my cats are being crazy today. Charlie, if you can hear, is running back and forth, running back and forth. So we'll just do three to try to connect with people, we'll ask about his day, and then we'll talk to Sylvia because, well, I don't know what his relationship with Sylvia is like. So that's something we will find out. His relationship with Aaron is not so hot. But if I do three interactions that are friendly or funny, hopefully that will help things along. We'll ask her about her day. Um, and then, oh yeah, I... S I did set this door, didn't I? Let me let me see this door. Let's specify. Yes, I set it so David and Olivia can go outside. Where's Dave, Where's Olivia going? I was wondering if she was going to go to the beach or not. Unless there's a lot less people in the house, though, there's really no point for you to leave the house um, because there really is a lot of time that you need to spend, uh, like, focused on getting to know people, you know? And... Four of our 11 people are down in the basement right now, so we don't have the opportunity to connect with them. David, I mean. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> We're going to ask Gretchen about her day. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Okay. People have been leaving comments under these videos because they're all uploading currently, and I am so appreciative of all the comments. I wish I could remember people's names. I know there was a girl named Sarah. Sarah, um, it was, her last name was, was different. It was like with an X in it. I want to say like a Texo or something, and that's so wrong, and I'm really sorry. But Sarah, thank you so much. And I know there was someone else whose name was like Osmido9 or something. We've talked a few times, and hi. <laughs> hi, you guys. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get some more comments from you under underneath. And then, oh, Birgitta is having an upcoming party. Well, we're not going to be going to it. That's just not something that's going to happen. So David's talking to Banjo. 
And we'll just let everybody have their interactions and whatever. So, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys who are commenting, who are watching. You know, I now have 41 subscribers. I am super duper chuffed for that because for the longest time I was stuck at like 36. And seriously, every single new subscriber is like, is like a giant gift for me. It is so exciting and I'm so grateful for it. Olivia is just, what is she doing? She is contemplating the meaning of meaning. Well, okay, you do that. Um, so yeah, so thank you, you guys. It really, really means a lot. And I'm, I'm so glad that this has been received, this series, so positively. It is one that I really enjoy. I'm not going to group up with anybody, F that. It is one that I really enjoy playing at Tender Party, no. Um, so... I love that I get to that I get to share it with you. I was hoping I would have started releasing it a lot earlier, but you know there was just a lot of stuff going on. David, you are going to eat on the toilet. Oh my God, huge messes these people are making in the basement. This is unbelievable. Well, three more hours, and all y'all get to go upstairs, which I think is pretty exciting. I'm sure you all are looking forward to it. Let's clean this up. And then why don't we have a little... Oh, this is considered Oscar's bed. He's been down here so often. He has his own bed. <laughs> um, why don't we uh, go to bed after that for a little bit? We have a couple of hours. <clears throat> so David's... David's just talking with Gretchen from the hot tub. Jasper and Sylvia are not having a good conversation. Okay, is it just me or... Everybody in the house, like a, a lot of the women have, have lost a lot of weight, like Manuela, who's no longer here, so you can't see her. Manuela and Brigitte, I found, lost quite a bit of weight while they were in their house, and Sylvia seems to be gaining weight. Am I right, or am I, am I totally wrong about that? Her bum seems bigger, her belly from the side seems, maybe it's just this shirt that she's wearing, I have no idea. Now David is just, uh, he's just chatting with Sylvia. That's nice. Why don't we talk to Aaron? I know that we, oh, come on, stop moving. I know that we don't have a really great uh, rapport with Aaron, so why don't we kind of build that up just a little bit? Let's share a secret. <laughs> the secret comes up, I hate you. <laughs> I think you're an asshole. Let's just, just three more. I'm not going to do any more than that. And let's try to put the mac and cheese. For some reason, it won't let me put the mac and cheese away. Oh, my God. Okay, so we'll put away the leftovers, and then we will clean the sink. I know you're the H. You know what? F that. You can put away the leftovers, Sylvia, and clean the sink because you are not an HOH. David, you are not doing that. You're just going to talk to Aaron. Chance, probably more than likely, he's going to be putting Aaron up on the block in a couple hours because I don't, you know, too little, too late, I kind of think. But um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I can't believe it. Brigitte O'Grady Quinn is having a party tonight. Oh, fuck. Right. Right. I totally forgot that Elvin and Brigitte got married. Oh, my God. That's that's really, really funny. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing else for Sylvia to do. It doesn't really matter. So let's we'll stick with David for a minute. We have one more hour until everybody from the basement comes back up. David, why don't you go to the bathroom? And then we are going to um, eat mac and cheese. <clears throat> I really hope you guys are, are still um, enjoying this. I, I, like, I am kind of thinking that this episode so far is nowhere near as good as my first 20 episodes. Because I really, well, maybe the last, you know, maybe a couple episodes in, you know, episode three and four and stuff. Where I really started to get into the swing of it and understand where things were going. Um, what do you want to do? You want to earn a new title by increasing nerd influence. And did you just break something? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, Chase is going to be back up here in a half an hour, which just means that I can use him. Um, and he can be our official house slave, as he's meant to be. So David is going to eat. And then I'm trying to remember, because like I said, it's been it's literally been months since I recorded Okay, it's written down. The nominations are at nine. At least three must be nominated. And the nomination, quote unquote, ceremony is actually David walking around telling each nominee one mean interaction. So um, that's going to that's going to mess with a couple of relationships here. And 
I need to pause so I can bring up the losers from the basement. So I'll be right back. Oh, Aaron and Olivia. What? Olivia! <gasps> You've been sleeping with David. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, be scared. Oh, no, we're not attending the party. Sorry, Brigitte. And everybody who was in the basement, they were all asleep. So that's why we had to wait for them to show up. Now Olivia is scaring David. Okay. Olivia, I kind of think you shouldn't be coming upstairs with us tonight because you're kind of being a dick. Um, in a half an hour, David is going to be casting his nominations. I think even even with Olivia scaring him, I think Olivia is totally safe. This is a little bit better. I missed having all these people in the house. It's, it is going to be weird when we're literally down to like five people or something. Because that was really strange. Just chilling out with those couple of people upstairs. What was it? Seven people here upstairs? It seemed like so little. You would like to increase your rebel influence, your nerd influence, use a megaphone, and complain about video games. Well, you're talking to Gretchen, so why don't we complain about video games for whatever reason? And I'm going to tally. Uh, well, I'm going to. Let's. Okay, let's pause it. <laughs> now, let's see if I do this right this time. Let's go to relationships and see which three David is going to be putting up on the block based on who's actually still in the house because obviously he has people on his list who aren't in the house. What I should actually do is go through and erase all that, but I think I just need to be mindful. Okay, so based on the numbers, Aaron is definitely going up on the block, although it looks like their relationship has improved, so that is a good. Jasper is going up on the block, and with a negative 3.5... Compared to the next person who's in the house, Oscar, who has a positive 4.67, Chase will be going up on the block. Oh, my God. OK, one of these three guys, I really don't want to go home. So I hope that I hope uh, truthfully, honestly, I hope Aaron doesn't go home. I for some reason, I really like Aaron. Um, so we'll we will see what will happen. So, David. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to now go... What is he doing? Uh, ask to water... Well, we can't right now. Your uh, mission, should you choose to accept it, is to go around and do a mean interaction. Give a mean high five to Chase. <laughs> um, and then we will complain about Jasper being slobby. And then last but not least... We will um, argue with Aaron. Sure, sure, sure. Snurb. <laughs> you snooze, you lose, loser. <laughs> so just so you know, I think you're a disgusting pig, and I would be totally fine if you were to leave the house. I just wanted to let you know. <gasps> oh my god oh my god that caused some drama and if you heard a bunch of rumbling there it was just because my cat louise was jumping on the table okay that caused some drama there and we are going to argue with aaron we'll see how that goes <laughs> um yeah jasper kind of took offense to that it looks like hmm very very interesting turn around aaron come on aaron David's got to be mean to you. He knows it. He knows. He's like, that, that dick's going to do something dickish. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. All right. Come on, boys. Like, what is going on? Olivia and Aaron are just staring into each other's eyes and smiling at each other. What the F is this about? It's super weird. That is super weird. You guys. Okay, now you're complaining. Okay, so we'll try again. Everyone just kind of glitched out there for a second. So, argue with Aaron, please. Let's go. Come on. All you got to do is argue with Aaron, and we're done with this day. Finally. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is going on? Is Aaron all frozen? And Let's try to argue with him again. There we go. It was Olivia that was causing some problems. Aww. Aww. Aaron wasn't angry about that. He kind of seemed hurt about it. Like, dude. Man, we were finally getting along. What the fuck? What are you doing, David? What are you doing? 
oh, she wants to thank you. And then Aaron wants to complain. Well, what I'm actually going to do is go to sleep. And for some reason, Olivia thinks she's still welcome to come up here, even though she's been flirting with Aaron and David, even though, well, yeah, David, but Aaron and David and friggin' Chase, like this whole series, Olivia, is she a flirty sim? She's a hopeless romantic. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, David, go to bed. Let's just cycle through then. Let's have a look at, at what the rest of the house guests are doing here. <laughs> Oscar and uh, Candace, it, he had the brain thing, so I don't know if he was complimenting her cleverness or if he was, if he was being a douchebag. Well, we can still keep playing with Chase. So Chase, you need to repair this because you're our current house slave. You need to repair this. You would like to get a gardening point, repair a broken all-in-one, and a play, and a play a video computer game. Yes, we gotta repair this. Um, what else? Do we have to clean any of these? No, we don't have to clean any of these. Once you repair it, I want you to use the all-in-one bathroom, and then you might as well go to bed at that point. I think. Brigitte and Aaron are no longer friends. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter right now. It doesn't really matter. And then I'd like you to go to sleep. So tomorrow, because we're nearing the end of the episode and everyone needs to get to bed. <laughs> tomorrow, which is actually today, uh, is considered a day four. So the house slave, Chase, he's going to be doing the dishes, the beds, making meals, doing repairs. And the veto competition is in just a couple of hours. So we are going to be shooting arrows once again. So I hope you've all had a wonderful time with episode 21. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your comments. I appreciate your likes and your subscriptions. 41 subscribers. I am so excited. And I'm, I'm hoping by the time this releases, everyone will look at the subscribers and it'll be much higher than 41. And everyone will be like, what is she talking about? There's 100 people now. Because <laughs> I was stuck at like 36, 37 for such a long, long time, like a crazy long time. And, um, yeah, it, I, I really, really love that that's not so much the case anymore. And hopefully it'll keep rising because I like sharing this with you guys. I think it's a lot of fun. And, and what better way, seriously, to celebrate the winter time? Because it really is winter now. I mean, even on the island, we've had snow the last couple of days, which is super freaky deaky weird. But weird weather abounds everywhere due to a lot of reasons. Um... So, what better way to spend your winter than to watch episodes of Big Brother 2017? <laughs> Thank you so much. I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.